Are you hungry again? I think we're ready for round two here. Okay. Don't let this tiny face fool you. Hannah Shaw says despite their small size, a newborn kitten needs a ton of food. For a little guy like this, he's going to eat several meals throughout the day and even overnight. She's the founder of Orphan Kitten Club and is known across the U.S. as the Kitten Lady. She says the labor-intensive schedule and delicate care a neonatal kitten needs is one of the reasons they are often euthanized in animal shelters. Her nonprofit launched a Got Formula grant program to relieve some of the burden, providing more than one million meals to bottle feed orphaned zero to eight week old kittens in more than 50 U.S. shelters and rescues. We never want a lack of supplies to be a reason for a kitten to come into a shelter and be euthanized. We want them to say, okay, we have the supplies we need. According to Shelter Animals Count, more than three million cats and kittens entered shelters and rescues across America and an estimated 10% were euthanized. Neonatal kittens accounted for approximately half of euthanizations due to the specialized skills, supplies, and overnight care they require. Oh, yeah. Amanda Hodder is the founder of Kitten Rescue Life in San Diego. Her nonprofit received 100 pounds of formula, and she says having it on hand allows them to focus on saving more lives instead of choosing who lives. Those are decisions like nobody really wants to have to be responsible for making, and so having a grant like this makes those decisions a lot easier. For other shelters around the country who are overcrowded or who don't have access to as many resources, Amanda says this life-saving formula grant allows more of them to make sure no kitten is euthanized due to hunger. When we have access to multiple foster homes, when we have access to 100 pounds of formula, we're able to say yes right away. We don't have to hesitate. We don't have to scramble to try to ask for funds or ask for supplies. We have everything we need. This is what we aim for. We've accomplished our mission. <laughs> a million meals for the most vulnerable. Hannah says she wants to go bigger and will never stop working to save the tiny but mighty. If we can gather that community of support through our club members and our donors um, and then distribute that throughout the nation where it's needed most, then we can really change the world for these little guys. Making an impact. There we go. One milk mustache at a time. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. For more stories in your community, click the subscribe button here. You can also download the Spectrum News app or watch us on TV for the latest information, balanced coverage, weather updates every 10 minutes and more. We'll see you then.